determined to prove the phrase, if you cannot beat them, join them, still rings true. Microsoft has announced a new video showcase called, Emmanuel Protected, Game Pass Hours after Sony lifted the lid, on its own fledgling PlayStation Showcase. State of Play, unlike Microsoft's other video program, Inside X, which is more news oriented, Emmanuel Protected, Game Pass will offer fans a glimpse at some of the hottest email protected coming to Game Pass and will be packed with new reviews, gameplay highlights, and developer conversations. As we mentioned in our state of play write up, the emergence of digital showcases like Nintendo Direct, State of Play, and email protected Game Pass marks a change in tech for the console. Industries, Big 3, with Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft all seeking to keep consumers engaged throughout the year by continuously drip feeding us on announcements. The first episode of the Emmanuel Protected Game Pass will include updates on some titles feature that take 3 2018, such as After Party, Void Busters, and Supermarket Shriek along with no game announcements, and a behind-the-scenes chat with Oxenfree and after-party developer Night School Studio. The new series will debut on March 26th at 9 a.m. port, and will be streamed over on the official X YouTube channel. Tonight's the night, Sony Santa Monica Clancy Interactive Entertainment said a great of the intense action-adventure series, God of War was honored with the prize for Game of the Year at tonight's 19th annual Game Developers' Choice Award Ceremony. During the day 2019, God of War earned accolades for its mature narrative, dazzling visuals and refined combat gameplay, an archive of the award ceremony, as well as the full presentation of the Independent Games Festival Awards can be viewed on the official GD Twitch channel, Florence, the sincere and emotional game exploring you love, also earned developer mountains to awards tonight, far best of debut and best mobile game, the game uses clever interactive story elements to sew together, various scenes of the birth, maturation and denouement of a love story, developer beat games, also took home to awards, for its game Beat Saber, far best VR game, and the audience award. Beat Saber is a compelling and active VR rhythm game in which players use motion controllers to slice blocks to the sweat, inducing syncopations of music. The full slate of winners of the 2000 and 19 GDCAS also includes best technology winner Red Dead Redemption 2 by Rockstar Games which present some meticulously realized open-world environment of the waning death of the Wild West. Lucas Pope's 3,909 won Best Narrative. Of the Return of Obradin, for the game's exploration of a series of mysterious murders set aboard the namesake ghost ship. 2018 is the award winner, Celeste, by developer Matt Makes Games. Return to the awards podium with their win for best audio, cementing the inspiring platformer's reputation for its musical presentation. The stunning platform adventure game, Grace by No Model Studio, earned the award for best visuals. Of its colorful artistic flourishes, the award for best design went into the bridge, developed by Subset Games, a strategy title whose minimalist pixel art aesthetic belies the deep, tactical and engaging gameplay that has earned it countless patterns. Nintendo's Lobo won the Innovation Award, honoring the revered Japanese publisher for its literally out-of-the-box title, which allows users to combine the versatile Switch hardware with self-constructed interactive toys on games made from cardboard. The Game Developer's Choice Awards honored the very best games of the year, and was created for and voted on by developers.
Winners are selected by the Game Developers Choice Awards Specific International Choice Awards Network, ICON, which is an invitation-only organization comprised of leading game creators from all parts of the industry. In addition to the best games of the last year, the GDC has also honored the dedicated individuals who have helped further the art, science and craft of video games with special awards. This year's Pioneer Award, which recognizes breakthrough tech and game design milestones, went to veteran game developer Rico Kodama, recognizing her for her trailblazing and continuing legacy in game design, which spans more than three decades of work on some of the most beloved titles in Sega's classic games like Rare from Fantasy Star, through Alex Kidd to Skies of Arcadia, and beyond. The Lifetime Achievement Award was given to esteemed writer and director Amy Hennig, whose decades-long career in game development began in the Atari 7000 and 800 era, and includes roles as creative director and writer of Naughty Dog's acclaimed Uncharted game series. The award recognizes Hennig's varied career, with professional experience as a digital artist, animator, game designer and especially in the last two decades, as a writer and director of acclaimed adventure titles with strong narrative and character elements. The Game Developers' Choice Awards represent the most refined games of the year, and the sheer variety of games honored tonight shows that games can still represent holy mood and unique creative visions, said Katie Aston, general manager of the Game Developers' Conference. A number of independently developed titles like Celeste, Grace and Florence helped prove how internal, a deeply personal turmoil can make far massively appealing games for millions of fans, while games like God of War and Red Dead Redemption to capture our imagination with poignant moments juxtaposed against epic tales of staggering scale and technical prowess. We embrace and accept all these amazingly creative works, and we are proud to recognize these nominees and winners alike for the imagination and hard work that brought them here. This year's Game Developers' Choice Awards winners are Best Dotto, Celeste, Mad Mix Games, Best of Debut, Mountains, Florence, Best of Design, Into the Breach, Set Games, Best Mobile Game, Florence Mountains, Innovation Award, Nintendo Lobo, Nintendo and Nintendo, Best Narrative, Return of the Obra Dinn, Lucas Pope, 3909, Best Technology, Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games, Best Visual Art, Grace, No Motor Studio Devolver Digital, Best VR Game, Beat Saber, Beat Games, Audience Award, Beat Saber, Beat Games, Game of the Year, God of War, Sony Santa Monica Sony Interactive Entertainment, Pioneer Award, Rico Kodama, Lifetime Achievement Award, Amy Hennig. For more information about the 19th annual Game Developers Choice Awards, visit the GDCA website. For more details on GDC 2000, and 19 visit the show's official website, or subscribe to regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, OS, God Art Sutra and DD as sibling organizations, under parent company and former. Marvel Spider-Man has now sold through over 9 million copies worldwide, according to publisher Sony Interactive Entertainment. Insomniac's Super published the superhero effort, each that milestone on November 25th, 2018. Less than three months after it launched on September 7th, and has likely shifted a few more copies since. The acclaimed title impressed critics and consumers alike with its endearing narrative and more extroversal system, and even made it onto the Masutra's esteemed Best of 2018 list. Sony broke the news on the same day it revealed worldwide 
PlayStation 5 sales have surpassed 91, 6 million units, with 5, 6 million of those coming during the 2018 holidays. Not a bad news day for the Japanese outfit. Cool co-founder and studio director Salim Dabos discusses the goals and origins of its unique structure. Waypoint has published a story on the indie developer Coop, exploring the studio's unique co-op like management structure that bestows equal pay and equal power to each and every dev employees. It's a studio structure that many have discussed in recent memory, including Coop itself in a 2018 DD session, and one that natural it has its own benefits and detriments. The model itself is something more and more devs are speaking highly of to.